Easter, of course, is a holiday celebrated by Christians across the world. And it's, of course, rooted in the story that's told four times over in the New Testament in the Gospels of Matthew and Mark and Luke and John, the story of uh, Jesus Christ's resurrection from the dead. Of course, each of the Gospels tells us different details about this, but all of them tell the story of Christ uh, being betrayed uh, and going to his death, right, his crucifixion, uh, and then the story of him rising from the grave and being revealed to various people. What we're celebrating with Easter, of course, is, is the fact that he overcame death by rising, rising from the grave. We're in the Book of Mormon this year. What details about the resurrection can the Book of Mormon offer that perhaps we don't really learn from the New Testament? Yeah, the Book of Mormon is interesting in this regard because prophets in the Book of Mormon from the very beginning know this is coming. Whereas when you're reading the Old Testament, there are kind of hints and okay. you can kind of maybe as a Christian start to see things pointing in this direction. But the Book of Mormon prophets have very clear and plain prophecy from six centuries before Christ's coming. So all through the Book of Mormon, we have prophets uh, saying a lot of things about this, clarifying a lot about the doctrine of the resurrection. So we'll want to touch on, I think, a lot of those passages as we go along. <laughs> 